Hey guys, Retro Badger here. So in this video, I thought I would test out ramming ships, basically. As a few people were curious to see what would happen with certain ships. So here we go. I thought I'd pick the Excalibur to begin with. Lower your shields and surrender your ships. We will add your biological and technological distinctiveness to ah. our own. Okay, so I'm going to ram into the galaxy class first. Full power to the shield. Oh, they're moving out of the way. Hang on. Transmitting your new orders, Captain. So the Excalibur is really good at taking hull damage. So, will it be able to destroy? Oh, there we go. Oh, wow. So that completely destroyed the galaxy class with just a little dent in the front. Okay, so the game just decided to crash, of course. <laughs> I've noticed it always crashes with the galaxy class model. So, now, I'm going to try this against a different ship. Your orders, Captain. The Prometheus class. Transmitting your new orders, Captain. Red Will the Prometheus class up. be any tougher? It's a problem with this ship, it takes so long to turn around. Hoping the Prometheus can withstand this. Whoa! Nope. Might have found a new way to win battles. Your orders, Captain. Why bother shooting at ships if you can just ram into them? Okay, so who could we go up against next? Let's add a sovereign class. Captain? Your orders, Captain. What's funny is the your new orders, Captain. Excalibur has taken more Order. damage from the warp core explosion rather than ramming. I find that quite funny. Okay, so this is going to be just like the Star Trek Nemesis movie. Will the Sovereign class survive? I'm not so sure. Depends who's at the helm. Whoa! Tractor beam has been disabled, Captain. Okay. That's a mess. <laughs> Going flashbacks of Nemesis here. The not ship fire, is stuck. Fire, so I'm trying to uh shoot my way clear. Right, I'm completely rammed here, so... Nope, can't go to warp. Yes, sir. Destroy the Enterprise. Captain, and I'm free! With that derelict. Great! Your orders. Okay, so... I'm getting a bit more ambitious now, and I'm going to try and ram into a starbase to see what happens. Fire a few torpedoes just to wake them up. if we could ram inside them, like do more damage. Oops! Should we try to shake them? Full integrity at 50%. And I'm stuck. Completely stuck. Hmm. 
Your order, sir. Computer, activate self-destruct. Great. So self-destruct in ten. We got Safi nine, to stay on eight, there, seven, and she's activated the self-destructs, and five, we'll leave her four, on there. Three, two, one. Oh, well, this will do. Neat. No real damage to the star base. Hey, let's see if I can smash through the side of it. Got a funny feeling. Yep, look at that. This game is so strange the way it works. If that was a ship, it wouldn't work. Computer, but with the shuttlecraft, it lets you off. Authorization Larson Alpha Six. Self destruct in ten, nine. Will this eight, destroy the starbase? Cancel red alert. Six, <laughs> five, four, three, two, one. She was speeding up then with the counting. The ship has been destroyed. Has it? Okay. Let's try smashing into the scimitar. Will we do better than John Luke did? Red alert, shields up. Captain. Hey, don't cloak. That's not fair. Transmitting your new orders, Captain. Okay. No, nope, I still can't warp for some reason. It mustn't let you warp if you're in front of a ship. It must know. Well, the Simisar did quite well there, as once again I'm completely stuck. <laughs> Even the camera's stuck. Okay, so the final ramming test. I tried ramming this ship against other ships, but they kept me flying out of the way. So I'm going to try crashing into Deep Space Nine and see what happens. So I've got the Voyager's Future Armor here. Hey, Future Armor. That's funny. Whoa. So it just bounces off. How cool is that? It's hard to say you came off worse there. Probably Voyager. Whoa! Just bouncing off. How cool is that? Wow. That is one well made station. Okay, so it can't really be destroyed. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Bye for now.